Hi, um, thanks so much for joining me um, on this blog post. Um, uh, in this post, we're going to be um, looking at creating or painting a patchwork. Um, and um, the idea behind it really is, is, is to experiment with three things. Um, first, with colour. Uh, two, with um, uh, words. And lastly, um, with um, trying out different patterns or patterning. Um, so, um, my idea really was to take um, a plain piece of paper and to um, sketch wiggly lines onto the paper to create a kind of a, a curvy, a curvy grid. Um, often patchwork is straight lines, but I thought it would be more, more fun and unusual to do this with, with curves. Um, so, once you've done that and um, I, I've created a template a little bit like this, so um, if you don't feel confident about drawing your own lines on a piece of paper, you can just simply down, download the one that I have done. Um, once you've done that, um, the next challenge really is, is, is the colour of it. So here you can either choose to um, do as many different colours in that to fill those spaces as you can. Um, and here I've done it, I've, I've, I've started an example um, where um, I've, I've filled, to start, to start with, I've filled each um, space with a, a different colour, trying to get in as many different shades of colour as I can um, and trying to get the different um, squares to contrast to each other. Um, but they do ha it doesn't have to be multicoloured. Um, it can be more based on a spectrum of colour. So, uh, for instance, blues or greens or, or yellows or pinks, so different shades. Um, and this one that I've begun, I've, I've done in, in blues and greens. So I've, I've um, filled all those spaces up with blues and greens. Um, so, so that's the first challenge is, is the colour aspect of it. Um, the second part of, um, of this task really is about playing with the words. Um, now, I've pulled lots of little verses um, out from different psalms and then put them into um, the different um, patchwork squares, if you want to call it that, on the grid. Um, now, it's always a bit tricky trying to get words to fit into a space. And so that's what, why I thought this would be a good and interesting task to have a go at. Um, you might want to um, doodle it first, um, a bit like I've done here. I've just sort of sketched out some patterns ideas, I've sketched out some word ideas, um, just to um, see how the words fall, um, if that helps. Or you might be brave enough to just go for it and just paint the words in. I mean, the, the good thing about when you're painting in a design like this is you can make the words get bigger or make the words get smaller, um, make them wiggle around a bit. And if you have a bit of space left over in, 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 a, in a square, you can always add a little bit of detail or add a little bit of patterning to fill it out. So there's lots of ways um, that you can um, uh, play around with the words to help things fit. So on here, you know, I've got to unfailing and then realise I've only got love left. So I've made love really big there, just to fill the space out. Um, so yeah, um, that would be a really good thing to try out. Um, uh, and, the, and lastly, um, it's patterns really. So um, as well as putting words into these spaces, it's fun to try out using different patterning. Um, and that, you know, you can sort of let your imagination run with that really. I've done um, lots and lots of circles here. I've started to do wavy patterns there. I think it just has a sort of watery feel about it. Um, and th this one um, is, is obviously, I've, I've gone for flowers, but they don't really have to be um, waves or flowers. They can be um, just wiggly lines, straight lines, jagged lines, um, lots of spots, anything that, that you love to doodle really. Um, so, and at the end of it, um, you might have a, a lovely piece of artwork and the, the real aim of it is just to experiment. So um, I, I wouldn't worry about um, how, it, how it goes really. It's just a, a way of trying out using colour, trying out um, using um, text in spaces and um, experimenting with different kinds of patterning and seeing, seeing what you come up with. Um, again, I um, would love to see what you come up with when you do this task what sort of patchwork you develop. Um, everyone's got a different way of expressing things. So please do um, share your ideas and, and, and let me see what you've come up with. Um, I've 
um, put lots of suggested um, um, verses from Psalms uh, down on the blog post for you to use if you want to, but do just feel free to pull out little bits of verses that are special to you or ideas that you have as well, um, which, which fit, into your, uh, in, fit, fit into your patchwork. Um, I hope you really enjoy this task and find it fun. Um, thanks for joining me again.